Work's not right, they say. Overheating. Okay. I see not going. It's that night time. Sounds like the compressor's running. is definitely not a how-to video. It's just kind of letting you in on my thought processes a little bit. Definitely not perfect, but, you know, sharing the experience with you. It's running now. Better hurry up and get some Freon in it or it isn't going to be for long. Okay, still running, so that's good. Got my gauges. Got Freon. I'm going to hurry and just get it going through the low side. Uh, and then I'll hook up the high side after. I might not even do that. I might just charge it through the low side for now and then locate my leak tomorrow when I have daylight. Uh, unless something just uh, jumps out and says, here I am. I'll give it a, a look over. Contactor pulled back out. Somebody turned the unit off. Oh my gosh. Doggone it. That means now the compressor is going to be overheated. That just sucks. That really sucks. There's a good chance it's not going to start now. Very frustrating. Okay, I have to go inside and let them know. Okay, yeah, I have to charge it. It's turned off, went inside, everything's fine. But, uh, got a five minute delay. Compressor's blazing hot. Gee, right when I was about to get going too. See how hot it is. Gosh. That just sucks. It's probably out on thermal.
uh, and test for see if we have 24 volts at the thermostat. Check for 24 volts here. It's weird. So volts AC going to the side. Oh, we got 24 volts. The contactor gave out. Oh, it's still pulled in. I was wrong. The whole thing went on thermal. I blew the fuses. It just looks like the contactors. Not sucked in. Touch that and show you. Yeah, yeah it's already sucked in. Oh my gosh. I blew the fuses. Okay, I'll pull those. I'll test those. Man. If I was like a second earlier, it would have been okay. Yeah, I'm going to have kind of a rough rough round of it. That one's okay. That one's okay too. Okay, I have to check the breaker inside. Oh. And if it did go, then Check the breaker inside. Okay. okay. Actually, we've got power here. I think we've just gone out on thermal overload on both. I see the time he doesn't sound good either. Power comes in on the sides. So check the bolts I see. I'll plug this in and see what happens. Fan motor started, but the compressor didn't start. So, I need to get some ice on that compressor to get it cooled down. Oh boy. Okay, got a bunch of ice. Yeah. 
blazing hot. I'll put a couple cubes up on the fan letter as well. Although the fan did cool down already. I'll just put one, one up there just to make sure. Hopefully we can get this puppy cooled off and I can get this done and get out of here. Sucks. I was seconds away from charging it and uh, this may not be over so easy either. Um, it is what it is. I'm going to have to figure it out. Figure out where my leak is and keep it going. Just how hot that compressor is, though. Even the data plate's coming up a bit. Copeland. Compressor has internal thermally protected. A lot of time to reset. That's what we're doing. That's why we're adding the ice. Cool this puppy down faster. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. See what happens. Probably needs a little more time than that, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and charge it because I know we're low. We've already purged our steel.
it's 30, so. side we're looking for a rule of thumb of an ambient temperature plus 30 degrees. We're gonna check our ambient current temperature. Go ahead and give a little more. I know we're about a hundred degrees or you know about 90 maybe so we should be about 120. The high side's a more accurate read. Our suction side it should feel cool. It's starting to feel colder, so that's good. We were definitely pretty bad there. I'm gonna open the high side and the low side for a second. Try to, if there's something clogging the filter dryer, try to bounce it out of there. Crossover. The other thing I'd like to do is go inside and change the air filter. Compressor's starting to sound much better though. You know, it's quieted down quite a bit. Definitely starting to feel much colder, so. Check that ambient temperature, hopefully. My phone will work. My phone is on the fritz.
that's good. The pressure's not too hot, that's good. Suction line is feeling cooler, that's good. change the air filter and then just check, do a precursor for any leaks at this point. I wanted to see the ambient temperature but it might be my phone is just messing up on me. Go ahead and change the air filter and use my leak detector just real quickly for any leaks. And then come and check here. Sounds like we're more normal noise, normal sound. Alright. I don't know what that creature was that just flew past me. <laughs> Some weird bug. The bugs like me. So we're okay. We're nice and cold there. There it is. There's the bug. Haha. <laughs> flew away. Bugs just want to get on YouTube. What can I say? All right, yeah, I'm gonna go change the air filter and get it going. Look, our pressures. Slightly odd. That's why I'll start with that air filter. All change right. the filter inside. Got back okay. on the roof, but. <laughs> Gives the story better. Maybe it wasn't a different leak at all. Could have just been the fan. But check the point for her. Another point. Oh, A lot of different factors can definitely be tricky, especially in the dark. Just another reason you definitely want to hire a seasoned professional. So much fun. <laughs> and discharge it faster, faster holds the charge in it even after the power is disconnected. I'm gonna change this five. We can test it as well. And better looks rusty and tired. Well, test 
Damascus microfarad setting. Point nine five is definitely bad. Point nine five. Yeah, I need to test the 35 as well. so that's bad. I was pretty sure. I've been upgrading, upsizing to the 440s. It seems to be holding up better. At least uh, I want to believe what I want to believe on that. Okay. Now we're going all the common wires on one side and the herm on the other. Put the herm on the left side because I need more room. It's a short red one. My wire is a little loose here. And, oh gosh, it's really loose. Start one to each side. Yellow start wire. Here's the common from the fan. That's nice and tight. And then they're red. Run wire. Okay, red common. That's a little loose too. back and double check this unit tomorrow. Uh, for now I'm just gonna have to put it where it was. Just 
got to survive the day and the people are expecting AC so we go ahead and fire it up and we don't know about that fan motor yet either so uh, although we do know that the uh, capacitor is way out of phase so. oh the fan motor did not start
I'll just come back to this one tomorrow. Oh yeah. I did see some like white like ice but it's possible that that was just from the, the way the fan had quit nice and cold now so that's good my phone Sometimes everything happens at once. It's just the way it is. I'll try and change my phone battery. Adjusting from the low side to the high side takes some time. I'm definitely going to need to come back tomorrow and check this thing. Goodness gracious. Temperature deal. It says it's 90 degrees, so ambient plus 30 would be 120 on the high side. It's just a rule of thumb, and so it isn't always the most the most accurate kind of deal. So. Better to test it by superheat subtool, but I'm not sure if we have a leak or not. It's late, I'm not gonna get into it all too much tonight. I'm gonna come back and check it tomorrow. Here it goes. So I disconnect my high side.
from the high side, from the hoses, from both the service hose and the high side hose into the suction side. So I'm just kind of metering it in. And at least we've got restored AC for the night. I'm going to come back and check this one during the day. I can see better and get it all going proper. Okay, we're all set there. Go ahead and close my gauges up. Disconnect my low side. around this high side but like something happened there for me. Survived the night. Alright, 
Welcome back to Country Maintenance. Uh, back up on the roof early this morning. Kind of beat the heat. The unit's nice and cold here. So that's good. And we're giving off heat, so that's good. Looks like we survived. Checked a couple other units while I was up here. Uh, and I might just pull an answer while reading on this one. Discharge the capacitor. Alright, I made for a, a wild night last night. I'll discharge the fan cap just for good measure. Technically, it cancels out. You know, I could almost get in here. I can move this one right there. Put the capacitor right here, and we're good. make it a little tricky in the future or I can put it right here that looks good to me cable tag going I like these military grade cable ties they don't, they don't hold forever but they do hold long enough to you know do what we need to do At least this way it's not sitting in the floor. Where, uh, there's some moisture and stuff that I just want to position that where the nub's not gonna Sometimes you gotta kind of file that down a little bit, don't want nobody else to get. Good there. Anchored. You can pull an amp draw on the compressor just to see. Let's take a look at this data plate. Now it's daylight. Everything is a little different when it's daylight. In theory, still can't see it. Locked rotary amps is 50 amps. LRA. It's hard to make out anything there. Alright. Looks kind of like the compressor was changed at some point different style than my other Goodmans. Let's see what our amp 
uh, reading is. To amps AC. Another common wire. Common wire. Yeah, let's plug it in and see what happens. started right up on this one, but that was good. It's like a lot of our noise coming from right here. I'll bet you if we add a screw here we can we can minimize this pretty good. Alright, looking out around on the roof, I found a screw but I was also able to find the cover was way way on the other side. No idea what happened but just glad to have found it. Make that a little better. Alright, help keep moisture and stuff out of there. perfect but definitely big difference. The unit just turned off by itself. Looks like it reached temperature. Everything turned off together. I just wanted to peek at the contactor with all the fun last night. Verify that that's what happened. There it is but that's wrong with verifying. Oh yeah. That contactor is funny. When it's sucked in, it, it still sticks out a considerable amount. So it tricked me last night. Made me think the contactor had turned off. <laughs> that was an adventure. But I like to share these things with you guys. Uh, I am definitely no super tech. I don't know everything. But kind of sharing the adventure with you purpose of learning and sharing this good old Palm Springs in the morning it's about nine nine o'clock 
and just going to do some preventative maintenance on this guy here. Thank you.